Hello, today you're gonna to learn how to make a thumbnail. And there is a software tool that allows you to make it right inside of YouTube as you're uploading your video and doing all that stuff like adding descriptions and all that. So you can go to Canva. I actually have a video on how to make a, a thumbnail from Canva. And I'll go ahead and put that video at the end. That's the end screen. Um, so you know just a just an fyi anytime you go through a video nine times out of ten there's going to be some, an end screen where there's some videos that pretty much are related to what i'm talking about so if you know if i'm talking about something and you're like i already know this go ahead and go to the end and at least check out those videos and see if they're videos that you would want to watch okay so i will put the one on at the end that shows you how to make a thumbnail using canva you can also use another program called get stencil to make them as well but today we're going to use tubebuddy you can make your thumbnail now tubebuddy is a software tool i want to show this to you the price at the beginning because this is a very economical program a, a software tool they are very um considerate of beginners or small channels uh nine dollars a month here if you hit these little um things up here uh, this is cool too watch this if you have less than a thousand subscribers you just click that and look it's only 450 a month now who can't afford that um if you unclick that you could even pay yearly and if you pay yearly and then decide to upgrade um, they will take that all into consideration so there are little coupons over here if you're a nonprofit, you get a discount as well Nonprofit is oops it's not letting me hit it i guess they know i'm not a nonprofit. So they probably know um, if you have more than one channel and things like that. So make sure you check those out. If any of those apply to you, use them and then just scroll down and see there's a free account. Hey, if you're not sure, get the free account. I went right to that 450 um, when I was under a thousand um, because I thought, shoot, that's, you know, I'd rather just pay for it and be done with it. And um, it shows you all the tools like any other thing, what the features are. And you can, I'll let you do that. Scroll down. But there is a link below. Um, the reason I wanted to show you this at the beginning, because it's so economical, it's such a good price and you get so much from it. Um, I'm actually working on making a playlist with all of the different features. And instead of making you a one hour long video with all the features and you're like, oh my gosh, it's too much. I'm just doing like one or two features at a time. And I want you to really start using them and then keep learning. That's, that's what this is all about. So we're going to go in, I've already uploaded a video. And I've already done tags and stuff on a different one. But if you scroll down and see two buddies all over the place, you can see the, the little red button. And we are going to make a thumbnail. We're going to go down here under the thumbnails. Now, if you make a thumbnail from Canva or Get Stencil, you would just upload it right here. Well, here it says you can make your thumbnail under here. Oh, where did it go? Here to go. Create. Upload a high resolution thumbnail. And it says create thumbnail. So we're going to create it right from here. What type of background would you like? Um, do we want a still frame? We're going to get a still frame from the video or our background could be a solid color. And here is an image or existing thumbnail. I'm going to go ahead and take something from the video because I just want to make it here. I don't want to go out and get anything from this any video place that else. I'm making is and as I'm watching the video, video um, that I'm going to, if you do a video do of just your face, buddy, then you probably um, would want to use this feature. Um, I don't really have. This isn't a good video to, to use as an example, but I can. I can go ahead and move this along. I think most of them have me down there in the corner, which isn't going to make it. Th I'm, Good thumbnail to be honest but i can take it from here and then i can say step two make Hope layers so we're going to continue we're going to stop right there there's a picture and we're going to continue it says to pause the frame where you want it so again if you were doing just your face pause it where you want it you know you're going to move that little thing back and forth again I used a video, a sample video, and um, let's go up to step two. Step two says to add layers. I'm going to go back to step one because this is not a good thumbnail. We're going to put a solid color there. So let's go ahead and use black. I always use black. 
and there's my solid color okay then we're going to continue um, and it says I can find an image I'm going to go ahead and pull an image of myself right from my um, a folder that's on my laptop so what I'm doing is I selected image and then right here I'm going to upload an image so the image is uploading and it's I just took one out of a folder that I have and then I'm going to look at text I can add shapes I can add emojis I can put a frame around it and I can use a template if I would like we're going to look at templates in just a moment okay so it took my picture right here click to add the image and there it is okay actually this is what I do on Canva so it's the same thing um, put it on the side you're gonna add some um, text and you want to write what you want to say hello I'm, I'm just writing hello make money online just something like that and then you can add it and you're gonna have to pull it in because it's here that um it says extra large so we're going to go to large just to make it a little bit smaller see that and again you can get more creative but the neat thing is you don't have to go to canva and then upload it and then save it to your desktop and then pull it over everything is right here so um, you have emojis let's see what kind of cool emojis they have right there it's fun just play create and when it's over and we save it so here's some emojis um, there you go you got a big emoji if you want to use those isn't that cool so be creative I'm gonna stop there because you can use shapes too. see all the different shapes um, and you can make them different colors so whatever you want to use some people will take one of these shapes see that and then they'll put um, words on top of it they'll stretch it out and make it into a bar or a square and then they'll put words in it to kind of make it pop you've seen them where they use like three layers of these so I'm going to delete that for now but that's how they do it they take one of those shapes ah that won't delete all right it's really easy to delete there we'll just pull it off to the side all right and now we're going to continue let's look at template and see what's there you don't have any templates saved so once you make a template you're able to save it and then what you can do is pull that template up and then just change the words and now we're going to continue and there you go and you have your thumbnail now you can still go to canva you can go to get stencil but i'm telling you this is so much easier if you take the time to make a couple templates that you like um because most people use you know two or three different templates then you're ready to go um take a bunch of pictures of yourself and you know have them uploaded so you can just pick which ones you like and there you go very easy everything is a one-stop shop just use tubebuddy click the link below use tubebuddy and it's there now the only time I would recommend using get stencil is when you want to use um, words and outline them that is the only thing I have found from get stencil that Canva doesn't do and this doesn't do and it's kind of cool you know some people put green around their um, outline their cut out their body or around the the letters and stuff it does make it pop you don't want to do it all the time but get stencil um, I use that program um, especially when I want my my words and my letters to be really big and when I want to outline them because you're limited you saw um, extra large that's it you can't go any bigger than that all right that's it for today thank you for watching my channel watch those videos here at the end um, hopefully those will help you and again TubeBuddy is awesome it has so many features today you learned how to make a thumbnail right there within TubeBuddy you can't beat that one-stop shop Give me a thumbs up if this was helpful, something you liked. Thanks again for watching.